The eLearning Center at Prince Sultan University present this tutorial on how to add a Turnitin assignment in Moodle, specifically tailored to meet the needs of faculty members. This feature is designed to assist you in evaluating the originality of your students' work by comparing their electronic documents to online sources, as well as the extensive Turnitin database. The Turnitin software generates an originality report which assesses submitted assignments and highlights any text that may have been sourced elsewhere. To streamline this process, please follow the step-by-step -step instructions in this tutorial. Start by accessing your course page and click on Edit Mode from the top right corner. Then, locate the section on your course page where you wish to add the Turnitin assignment. Then click on Plus Add an Activity or Resource. From the Activities list, Select, turn it in. In the general section, provide the necessary information. First, the assignment name which is required to be filled. In this field you can type the name that will be displayed on your course page. Second, the description which is an optional feature. Here you can enter a concise summary of the turn it in assignment along with any pertinent instructions. Furthermore, you have the option to display this description on the course page. Next, in the Submission Type drop-down menu, you can choose one of these listed options, a file upload, a direct text submission or you can allow any submission type. In the following settings, you can specify whether this is a multiple-part assignment or a one-part submission, where students will submit only one draft. Then, you will be able to choose the file size. By default, the maximum file size upload limit is set to 100 megabytes, which should adequately accommodate complex files. However, feel free to adjust this limit to a lower value if necessary. In the following section, you can determine whether students can view the originality report generated by Turnitin. The default setting is, no. If you wish to grant students access to the originality report for their submissions, Please set, display similarity reports to students, to, yes. For simplicity in grading, it is advisable to choose show grade as percentage. You can also select the grade category in which you want this assignment to be displayed, or alternatively, leave it as, uncategorized, indicating that it will remain unclassified within the grade book. In assignment part 1 section, choose the start date and due date for student submissions. Then, select the post date, which signifies when grades feedback and the originality report will be made available for students to view. Following that, you can find the similarity report options. In this step, you will have various options to select from tailored to your course requirement. First, to permit students to submit their assignments after the due date, select Yes from the Allow Submissions After Due Date drop-down menu. Next in Report Generation Speed Part, you can select one of the following options. By choosing the first option, students will receive one report as soon as they submit their assignment and they will not have the opportunity to resubmit. Next option enables students to make multiple submissions of the assignment until the due date. Bear in mind that it may take up to 24 hours for originality reports to be processed for resubmissions. With this selection, an originality report will be generated solely on the assignment's due date, and students will have the ability to make resubmissions until that time. From the Store Student Papers option, if No Repository is selected, the student's submissions will not be retained in the Turnitin database. Consequently, if two students within the same class submit identical papers for a group project, Turnitin will not identify a match between their submissions. Next, you can determine whether you would like students' submissions to be checked against papers stored in the Turnitin database. In this part, you can specify the elements against which students' submissions will be checked. These options include, check against internet, select, yes, to assess the originality of submissions in comparison to online content, check against journals, periodicals, and publications, Select, yes, to analyze submissions for originality against academic publications. Exclude bibliography, 
select yes if you wish to exclude the bibliography section of student submissions from the originality checking process exclude quoted material select yes if you want turn it in to disregard any quotes used in the student submission as they are more likely to match work submitted elsewhere under the grade mark options you can click on launch rubric manager to build a new rubric lastly click on save and display to finalize the process and add the turnitin assignment to your moodle course please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates thank you for watching please don't hesitate to contact us for further support